thank you all so much for stopping by today. So the weather is a lot better. Yesterday, let me tell y'all, that wind was giving us the business here in Southeast um, Georgia. And so you know what? I packed everything up and I went back in. I'm out here today, still a little bit cool. The wind is still blowing just a little bit, but it's calmed down a lot. But what I wanted to share with you today is the reason or my thought process behind how I start seeds. Now, y'all know I start seeds in various ways. I have combinations. I have direct sow, um, which is basically just sowing the seeds directly in the ground, directly in your raised beds, or directly in your containers. Um, I also start uh, soil blocks. I love soil blocks. Um, because I can get more seeds in a tray versus, um, you know, if I start them in cups or cell trays. But today, today I want to talk about the reasoning behind why I start some of my seeds in these cups here. They can be solo cups. They can be yogurt cups. Um, like I tell y'all all the time, just make sure you have um, that drainage at the bottom. So I want to talk to you today about why I start them in the cups versus why I start them in these cell trays right here. This is a cell tray with the humidity dome. Um, it's a 12 pack and then it has the bottom tray. Um, so I just want to go over really quick why I do what I do and then I'll show you what we're going to be starting today in these uh, cell trays and then in these cups. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So let's just jump right into it. Let's not waste any time. Okay, so today we're starting seeds and I prefer to start certain seeds in certain methods, but again, we are focusing on cups versus the cell tray. So let me tell you my thought process behind it. Also comment below and let me know how you start your seeds. Um, let's get a conversation going in the comments because they're all different ways. Um, no way is right or wrong. Some seeds prefer certain methods over another. But today, again, we're talking about why or my thought process behind starting in cups versus this cell tray right here. So let me show you what we are planting today and we're gonna plant them in the different methods. So today, y'all, we are starting paprika pepper. This is the Hungarian pepper. Let me tell you about paprika. If you wanna get some seasoning in your life and make your food taste good, this is it. I love the smoked paprika. What I'll probably do is once they start ripening and we start harvesting the peppers, I want to smoke them before I actually dehydrate them and grind them up because I currently go to the store right now and I buy smoked paprika and I love the taste on a lot of different dishes. It is so good. But if you've been following me for a while, you all know that I love food okay I don't like my food salty but I like my food seasoned and so I have a lot of spices that I grow throughout um, spices and herbs that I grow throughout the garden season and I'll just do a mixture and so what I'm going to do this season is we're growing this pepper right here we're gonna smoke some we're just gonna dehydrate some and we are going to grind it up into a powder so that's my whole purpose um, for growing this. Next, we're going to grow some marjoram. This is great. I love putting this actual herb in a lot of my sauces, like my Italian sauces. Um, I will put them in there. I also put them on other dishes, but also a great herb to have. We also have a lot of more herbs that we have to start um, and particularly some thyme, some parsley. We already have rosemary growing and then some oregano. So we are going to grow them. We have sage already growing right here. Um, I love sage as well, especially during the holidays in my dressing, I use the sage and sage is just a good herb to grow for so many reasons. But let me share with you 
because today what we're going to do, we're going to plant our peppers here in these cups, but we're going to plant our marjoram, the herb, in these cell trays. So let me tell you why I start them in these different growing um, pieces. So I like to grow in these cups things like peppers. I grow my tomatoes. I start my squash, my zucchini, my watermelon, all in different grow cups. It doesn't have to be this type of cup. Um, if you watched our video, I'll make sure I linked it. These are at the Dollar Tree. And so you can get these. I want to say 12, y'all. I thought they were 10. I'm going to count them right here. I thought they were 10, but I was planting something the other day. And I was like, I think it's 12 in here. I thought it was 10. I think I quoted somebody who contacted me. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it's 12. So I misspoke. I thought it was 10, but it's 12 cups for $1. We got these at the Dollar Tree. These I will link in the description. Um, we actually got these right here from Amazon. Now they do have all type of cell trays, but I'm going to tell you why I like these. I like these because you can control the humidity, okay? And then I love that they're clear so you can watch the roots as they are growing and forming because the reason why I start plants like my tomatoes, peppers, zucchini, squash in here because they can start growing fast and if they grow in here, you don't want those roots to start wrapping around and then eventually choke out the plant. So it gives them a little bit more room to grow. And then I probably, before we actually plant them out, I will probably have to pot them up one more time in a container that's similar to this. Um, the dollar store had some more that's similar to this. They're a little bit deeper. Um, as a matter of fact, let me go and get them. Um, because we'll probably have to pot them up one more time, but I like to grow those type of plants in here so that I don't have to like pot them up again in like two or three weeks. And we're going to start our herbs in here because over time, um, as they continue to grow, we'll move them out. And I think by the time they get nice and full and big in here, it'll probably be time to harden um, the marjoram off, just harden them off and put them where we're going to um, plant them, whether it's in a container, whether it's in the ground, whether it's in the raised bed. But really quick, let me show you um, the pots that they also had at the Dollar Tree that are a little bit bigger um, because it is mid to late January and... I always tell y'all I like to give myself some grace when it comes to seed starting because I know how I can get behind. And so we're going to start not only our peppers in here, but we're going to start tomatoes, zucchini, squash, watermelon, cucumbers in here so that we don't have to like keep potting up. They'll grow pretty good in these cups, but if it's not time to put out yet, um, we'll pot them up one more time. And that's what you have to consider too when you're growing inside. Like you have to cons consider those space and requirements. But let me show you real quick the pots that we got from the Dollar Tree. So these are just a little bit bigger. I think they're about six inches and I think these are about four inches. So again, if it's not time to put them out yet, we can still pot them up in here and have them grow because the last thing we want to do is start our seeds inside and then have those roots wrap around and choke that plant out and die. You don't want that. So you always have to think about that as well. But these are a little bit bigger. Um, I don't want to start them off in here yet per se because I have shared with y'all before here in zone 8B, we're pushing 9A. Um, we pretty much skip spring. It really goes from late winter to um, summer pretty quick. And so we want to go ahead and get these in the ground so that they can start growing because around July, August, a lot of things slow down because it's so hot here. Like we have to put shade cloth on certain things. And I know people think, well, you want it hot, you want it good, but it really gets hot and humid here. So really quick, we have some um, seed starting mix that um, we bought. This is just 
you can do whatever seed start and mix you want. What I will tell you is before I even start my seeds or use this seed start and mix is I go ahead and I boil some water and I just pour the boiling water on here. So this has cooled off um, just in case there's any pathogens bacteria sometimes i'll leave this outside so if something has laid an egg in here or something like that we just want to kill it off so again we are going to start our peppers in here so i'm just going to fill these cups up i'm not planting all um 12 cups today for the simple reason that we have been garden planting and we got to make sure we have enough room to grow other things and then we're gonna go ahead and start our marjoram. We'll start these here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plant all 12 just because I know that if I can't use it, I can always um, either gift it to someone else. And then like last year, we had so many extra plants that we ended up putting it online and we sold out, we sold out. Um, but I always like to plant 25% more than what I think I'll need because again i'll tell y'all sometimes the plants just not feeling it and they like oh you thought i was gonna grow that's what you thought well i'm not so just in case something dies um then we also have um if something dies then we have a backup that's that's pretty much what it is it's your plan b we have a backup for it so let me go ahead let me get these filled i think i'm gonna do about six peppers today and then we'll fill up the um, the cell trays with the uh, marjoram seed. So let's go ahead and do that now. And then these are going to go inside. We got heat mats inside. And so we're just going to put them on the heat mat. We're going to put them inside under grow lights. And we're just going to watch them grow. And I'll make sure that I keep you all posted. Um, but I just wanted to really, really, really share with you my reasoning behind using different ways to start my seed. So again, comment below. Let me know how do you start your seeds um, when you're getting ready for the gardening season. <music> everything planted this is our marjoram here y'all i still have to tell myself will you please label so i had to label and then on my garden calendar i have all the abbreviations for the different um seed companies that we plant seed so this was fairy moors and we have that and then we have the date of when we started on the back and so i did the same thing for the hungarian peppers um and if you're wondering what I sprinkled on top, we sprinkled vermiculite. This is going to help hold in the moisture, but it's also going to allow the seeds to push up through that soil um, very easily. Now, if you're using potting soil, I love to use it during there because you know how sometimes the potting soil can get dry and crust over and sometimes the seeds have a hard time pushing up. Well, if you put a little bit of vermiculite on top, it's still light. It still holds in the moisture, but it also allows that seed to go ahead and push through. And what I like to do is just put it in this little container right here. I think this is a sugar shaker or something um, that we found at the Dollar Tree. I've been using this for a while. I've had this for a while, but it gives me more control of how much comes out. And so I'll just sprinkle a little bit on top as opposed to putting more soil on top so that it can go ahead and push up through. So that is my thought process of why I use certain containers. This is what we're planting today. And let me just tell y'all, we got a whole lot more that we have to get planted. But again, if you 
are not sure exactly when you should start your seeds your zip code your grow zone then i'm going to put the link to the seed starting master class in the description because it's going to break down how you determine those dates based on you not what other people are saying on social media not when other people are saying when they start their soil um start their seeds for me i know january 15th because i know i have to give myself some, some grace now is the time when I start things like my peppers and my tomatoes, but it may not be the same for you. So if you, if you want to know exactly when you are supposed to get your seed started, click on the link in the description and sign up for the seed starting masterclass no matter where you move if you plan on moving wherever you're at once you get those fundamentals and those foundations you will never have to try to figure out when it is time to start your seeds you can use those fundamentals and foundations no matter where you are and determine exactly the date when you are supposed to get started so again we have a lot of more seeds starting that we have to do but um we are going to be doing that over the next few weeks and hopefully um by the time our last expected frost is we will be ahead of the game which is what i'm so hoping um for this season as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you share this video with your family and your friends. If you're not a subscriber, we would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. So make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye.